So this is level four. Ratchet yes. and Clank going commando. Another fine level coded by yours truly, <laughs> Anthony Garcia. This level is uh, called Vukovar Canyon and it's on planet Barlow. Right, and Tom Barlow uh, is the namesake of the planet, <gasps> I suppose. No, 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 don't go for the Seeker. Oh, come on. It's a trap. No, it's a trap. I love the Seeker gun. No, you got to go for the missile turrets. Missile turrets. Okay. But I want okay. it. So, uh, yeah, Tom Barlow was the artist who did this level, I think. Uh, sounds good. Or so people who he, are he was an artist. to seeing some oh. bugs, <laughs> this level might be a treasure trove for all of us. Uh, you'll notice that when, we, when they started out there... They were standing there having a conversation with each other. That's my signature go-to, is that I don't just have guys idling. So yep. this guy that's coming up right here, this guy who is the absolute bane of my existence. Why was so, that, Tony? Mike, as you know, if there's one thing that Ted really hates, <laughs> it's foot sliding. Uh, yes, he hates foot sliding and he hates the color pink. Yeah. Well, everybody seems to hate the color pink, but that's a time for a different. That's something for a different time. <laughs> but those big purple monsters have the most giant feet of anything in this game, and it's impossible to not make their feet slide. And for a year, oh, look at this! Look at that! Love that effect. This was where I started getting uh, some, some. Uh, I started getting some feedback that maybe I should tone down my effects. Oh my god, look at him slide across the floor. <laughs> that was horrible. Um, I got some feedback that maybe I should be toning down my effects a little bit because they were starting to get a little bit out of control on this level. No. Uh, very big, very massive effects. And uh, oh, I love this part too. All the tribesmen coming across the bridge. Good times. Uh, big frame rate problem here. Yeah, I, rem I remember this one. So the um, we're going through here really fast. I, so I'm, I'm trying to I'm trying to put in as much as information as I can. But uh, I'll slow down. I'll slow down. The tribesmen, the original design had them when they actually come up to you. Go ahead and activate these guys, and they come up to you with their shield drawn, and they actually come up a little bit slowly. Um, the idea was that they would actually be blocking and take less damage when they're approaching you in this fashion, but it never read. You yeah. can how do you possibly convey to the player? that they're taking less damage now. Right, because so, we mean, don't show damage numbers at all. Right, so we had to eventually drop that feature, which I was very, I was sad about because I thought it added a level of depth to the enemies, which was a naive way of thinking. That's not depth. That's true. Well, also, the uh, the average lifespan of a character in a Ratchet and Clank game is so th small. Right. That depth is almost a meaningless, uh, that, like, that's almost a meaningless part of the combat, so it's, right, exactly. it doesn't really add to depth. You would never know what it was going on, uh, they would all still die super quickly. It really added nothing. But I fought for the longest time to keep blocking in the game because I was so dumb. Oh, look at that but, view. But, you know, that's just how it goes. That's a great view. Yeah. Uh, that, that section. But so yeah, you, were, the you were saying beast, about the food sliding, yeah. Yeah, I mean, he hate, the purple beast, just gigantic feet. And when they charge at you, you can see that they... They're running so fast, and they have feet that's so big, it's so oh. difficult. Oh, you just got crushed. Well, now you'll have That's now... a victory for me. That's what that is. <laughs> if, in case you hear that in the background, that's my wife laughing at me. <laughs> uh, she's sitting here watching me play, and then when I fail, she laughs because she hates me. So the other big thing about just how I look at my levels is that when it's my level, I'm rooting against the player 100% of the time. I want the player to die all the time in my levels. I view that as a victory for me. <laughs> See, look at him just... How do you possibly make that... It was such a horrible problem. Make his feet so, not slide. Make his feet not slide. Did that guy just go through the wall? Yeah. Fucking amazing. Great. Well, do you remember Do you remember this part of the game before uh, Peter Hastings' pathfinding solution? This did not use Peter Hastings' pathfinding really? solution. Really? Yeah. Because I remember it was... setting it up in this part of the level. Yeah, we didn't actually use it, but you it's asked. a huge problem. <laughs> I because... spent like a day on that. I know. It was so hard, but... This was a horrible section for make any to make enemies move around. Did this use? They got the, walls the running out of them. Those those little bars of 
thing coming off the walls, they would get caught up on those. Well, and... yeah, because this this isn't like the the bars don't have collision. That's that's just one big wall. Yeah, and so it's just this. Uh, it was just a huge problem to get these guys to move around in this level. Um, and there's so many of them that they're always you know bumping off each other, and there's a whole lot going on here. But yeah, so the tribesmen were my guys, and um, I had you know coded them up from the ground up, all their behaviors and all their idling, and um, spent a lot of time. I don't know why I spent so much time on it. I spent a lot of time when I work with my characters idling. I like them to not just be standing there. I want to provide a fiction as to what's going on. Right, and these I guys have a conversation, right? They have little conversations that are going around. One of God, them... that guy's collision primitives are not set up right. <laughs> one, so, of them, one of them will tell a joke and the other ones will laugh. They do. Well, when we get to the guys around the fire pit, we can just observe them for a little while and yeah. appreciate my genius. Well, now I know what's coming here, right? Yeah. Yeah, this was a huge problem, because I remember they would always get stuck up on the lip of that bridge over there. Right. And they would be running up against nothing. Because they, no, be they have no knowledge of, uh, Anything. of the world. Anything. Not yeah. at all. They, uh, they, they just sort of navigate by running at you. They don't... You know, nowadays, we have pathfinding grids and you know, walk mesh and stuff, but back, back when we were doing this, uh, you know, it, was, it was none of that. You know, because it made for a better game when, when things ran in the show. Or at least it made your job harder, right, Tony? Yeah, yeah. I like those. Oh, man, that guy is horrible. He just <laughs> died in a horrible way. But you like the puppies, uh, which you had nothing to do with. Nothing. I had nothing to do with the puppies. You know what? I I don't know why. Swarmers are the easiest, are the easiest uh, enemy in the world to code. But I suck at it. I can't record Swarmers at all. And Mike, I can't see the screen right now. Something <laughs> my, is wrong. My, my cat jumped up in the way of the webcam. I'm sorry. So every time I would write a Swarmer, it would come out horrible. And we would throw it away. We gotta stop here. We have to just watch. Watch this wonderful... They're all sitting around, talking. That guy's telling a little joke. There's talk back the guy and forth. on the right there, yeah. Yeah. You know, they're, they're pointing to... Who, they're looking at whoever's talking. Yeah. They're not just gonna sit around. I think somebody should give a punch. Oh, look, yeah, they, see all they all laugh, then they turn, look to the next guy. Here's another one. Pull out the blaster, just the blaster. Zoom in, first person, just shoot one of them in the face. This better work, or else I'm going to like an idiot. Look, see, look at, they all, they oh, all yeah, go they to ran, hide. They ran see? for cover. They're, they're not stupid. They know what's up. That was a nice little touch. I didn't like that you could just sit out here and snipe them and kill them all. So they all just run for cover back there, and then they come out. When you jump down. Even though this is the first level, or maybe the second level, where you could buy the sniper rifle. Right. And, and maybe, you know, we wanted them to be able to do that. Tony made no. sure that they couldn't. That's right. Because in my levels, I always win. <laughs> my guys always win. Your your answer was always the right, the right correct answer. Exactly. Uh, in the universe of multiple correct answers, yours was the one that always happened. Oh, this was another horrible pathfinding section. There's so much just mess going around over here. How did you eventually solve this? Was it the hunter or? There's a lot of splines running around this level and they would just sort of, there's a spline running across the middle where it's always free to go. A spline and being if they a, ever, a, a path. A path. And if they ever lost line of sight, they would try to just go to the spline. And then they were generally in a safe area there. I think that's how I did it. Uh, I may be oh. completely wrong and forgetting. Oh, victory! Yes. Victory for me. This guy right here. Oh, man. I Hit him you know into what? the fire. I think they slide on fire if you throw him into the fire. That guy's standing in the fire. Oh, he, he got hit by the fire. Yeah, he got hit by the fire. Mary, stop trying to take the controller from me. You're not on this podcast yet. So you just be quiet. Sorry, Tony. It's all uh, right. Domestic affairs. You know what I mean. Yeah, there was so much just horrible pathfinding problems with these guys trying to make them work. It's I can't even crazy. believe. <laughs> Sorry, Tony. Domestic, it's all right. uh, domestic problems here. 
Uh, for those of you who were on the uh, Insomniac forums and might be watching this, uh, my wife, who's mocking me right now, uh, was uh, the gatekeeper on the forums, Mary. Uh, a lot of you talk to her on a daily basis. She used to work at the front desk. Man, that is not a good... Also tested. I'm still not a fan of these these guys right now. I think I could have done a better job with those big beasts. The purple ones? Yeah. Looking back on it, oh God, I think I, I, I think I dropped the ball on those guys. Here comes a nice little uh, mini encounter. Boom. Gates go flying up. Yes. You did a little cutscene here. That's right. And then here they all come across the bridge. Look at this. Now they're all going to get stuck up on each other. This is going to be amazing. Oh, but you're killing them fast. So it's not going to happen. I'm trying to make yes. them look good, dude. It's not going to... Okay. Woo. All right. They're not going to get all stuck up on each other <laughs> and on the collision. Perfect. Perfect. That is a terrible camera. No, that was perfect. Perfect. 100% of the way. And here... Uh, coming up, which we're not going to have because we don't have a Ratchet and Clank save, is all the classic weapons that we brought back. Oh, I kind of wish I had going a Ratchet Commando. And Clank. Well, no, we can still buy them. They're just we don't get a discount. You got them for free if you had the save, I believe. Right? Yeah. Well, what what happened? Uh, it, we, it, they just cost less money. But if you had a Ratchet and Clank save and you had beaten, uh, I think it was the level like. Uh, the president of Gadgetron says that uh, you'll get the employee discount. And so if you have a Ratchet & Clank save and you've seen that cutscene on the save, you get an employee discount on these weapons. But we don't have one. We don't have a Ratchet & Clank save. But we can still buy things. Oh, the Tesla Claw. Oh, there's the Rhino too. The Wallop. Oh, the Walloper. Do we want yeah, I think these? the Tesla Claw is the only thing worth buying, but not right now. I think we the, should still be saving for the mini turret glove. What are you talking about, dude? The mini the turret. This bomb. Mini turret glove, Mike. Okay. Eyes on the prize. Mini right. turret glove. Eyes on the prize. Eyes on the prize. Mini turrets. Oh my god. Look at all those puppies. How'd you get them all on? Sc oh, occlusion. Well, let's yeah. say let's say a thanks to Jared Hardy for that. That's right. Who did both IT and. Uh, occlusion. Occlu the occlusion system is what, uh, so like, um, since this wall is wait, blocking wait, wait, wait. the area you gotta go back. just you gotta was, go back. I will. Uh, since this wall is blocking the area back there and I can't see it, the game isn't drawing it anymore. That's how we can afford to get so much on screen. Right. Uh, and Jared was the guy who coded that whole thing up. I just wanted to make sure I activated that elevator. I remember there being a bug with it. I'm a big fan of this cutscene. I watched this so many times. Hey, who let you in here? Get lost before I flatten your robot into a hubcap. Touch him, and it's Plasma City! Oh, Man, God. Ratchet's got such a temper. <laughs> Just immediately escalating the situation. But he jumps to Clank's defense. That's the important thing. Right. He uh, He's right there, and he lets the guy know you can't fuck with his little buddy. Because we're still trying to fix the problem with the first game where he was mean to Clank all the time. So you understand my sensitivities? Absolutely, sir. We just came here to race. Well, you can borrow my bluebell, so long as you're gentle. She just needs a few repairs. Hang in there, my brother. Oh, do we have to pay money for it? And here's no. the part where we remember that Ratchet's a mechanic, right. not just a hero. Oh God. Try not to distract you, Mike, because I know this is very difficult for you. Yeah, I only coded and designed this puzzle. Why should I? I know it would be very me? embarrassing if you lost. Oh, like I did so many times. 